This is the using a protractor video. Um, so what you'll notice here is I have the result from my angle bisector construction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to use your protractor. So this piece is the protractor, not to be confused with this piece that is the compass. So a protractor we use to measure angles. So the way that we do that is we're going to take this little cross here, here, and we're going to place it at the vertex of our angle, right there. In addition to that, we're going to line up one arm of our angle also along this line. So you notice that I'm going to move my crosshair right to where my vertex is, and you'll notice that the line of my angle, I'm going to line up right on with the arm of my angle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read over here. So this angle here is either, you know, 24 and a half degrees or 164 and a, 164 and a half degrees. Hmm, a little bit of common sense. Let me think, which one is that? Obviously, this is like the 24.5 degree angle. Look at it, it's so acute. It's darling. Um, if I do the same thing, so again, take in the crosshair of my angle at the vertex, or the crosshair of my protractor and placed at the vertex, and then lined up the other arm of my angle with the line on my protractor. And again, I'm going to look and I'm going to count. So it has, this is 20, 21, 22, 23. And I'm off just a tad bit. So if I look at my construction, you'll see that the line that I drew doesn't exactly pass through the point of intersection. So I have a little bit of angle less on this side and a little bit more angle on this side. Theoretically, um, the angle bisector construction will get you exactly the same angle measure, um, but you'll see that from a mechanic standpoint, like in the physical world, sometimes it's often difficult to connect these points exactly, and I screwed this one up just a little bit, although this is pretty close. If you're within two degrees, you've probably done a pretty decent job. 